Hi everyone, welcome to this capture video and today I'm going to give a quick overview of the whole of Capture. So this is for you if you're new to Capture, if you've been using it for a while and you want a refresher or if you're having a look at it thinking about signing up. So here we are just at the login screen. Uh, we can add our own logo to make it feel more personal and I'm just going to click on login and go straight into the system. So we come straight into the uh, main dashboard area and you can see it's quite a busy screen because we've been using it lots. So on the left hand side, we've got um, an overview of what's going on today for us because Capsule integrates really nicely with Outlook. So the uh, test meeting that you see here is in my Outlook calendar. I've integrated it with Capsule so you can see what you've got going on for the day. And you can also click through and open Outlook if you'd like to. Then we've got on the left hand side, all of the tasks that are either overdue or that are due within the next seven days. And there are three areas of capture that you can add tasks and we'll be going into that, but all of the tasks are consolidated on this front screen. So it's a really good uh, to-do list. Then in the middle of the screen and well, the lighter area of the screen, we've got a scrolling history of what's been going on in the system. So here you can see that I've sent an email to Andy Steer and I've added a note to uh, Bob Smith and uploaded a file. Um, I've added another note. If I made any calls or ticked off any tasks, then they would also appear here. So this is an overview. So we're gonna really focus on the blue bar at the top. We're in the dashboard. And then we've got the people and organizations. So this is the dates bank. And this is where everybody and every organization that is on Capsule um, resides. That's where you will, you will find them. And if we just click on that, then we can see a list of everybody that's on the system. But we also have this light gray area here and we can drill down into this list and we can create segments and we can do all sorts of things with those segments. We can um, drill down by tag, we can drill down by name, we can drill down by all of the standard fields that Capture give us. And we can also drill down by all of the custom fields that we might create for ourselves. So if we have industry, for example, then we would be able to drill down and and click on particular industries and we can add filter after filter after filter so we can really get a really nice targeted list we can then go and save that list we can send that list over to transpond uh, which is a really snazzy email delivery system that integrates brilliantly with capsule check out my other video on that we can export this list to a spreadsheet if we want to do something with it we can email the entire list uh, we can add a tag to the list we can add a note to everybody on the list or we can delete people who contacts off of this list so it's a really brilliant area and we can sort um, by different uh, fields and we can also edit the columns here so the data bank is the first main area of capsule and it's where everybody sits it's brilliant and this is where you can really think about uh, people and organizations that uh, you interact with because, of course, the CRM is not just a client relationship management, it's a contact relationship management system. So you might want to have your suppliers, partners, associates on here. And we can tag all of those so that we could pull off a list of associates, for example, or we could pull off a list of partners, for example. So a really good area. And then moving along the blue bar at the top, we've got calendar and tasks, another fabulous area. We can see um, an entire calendar and we can pick up tasks and drag them over to a different date. We can drill down by different categories, but most importantly, we can create our own task categories. So we can really start to batch our activity and be more efficient because we can do a number of the same thing at the same time because we can find them all on the system. Because of course, the first time you take, to do, the first time you do something takes a little bit longer than the second time. And the third time is much quicker. So if you batch what you're doing, then you're going to be more efficient. So we can create our own task categories here and we can then drill down by them. So um, really, really good area, very powerful indeed. And then the next main area is the sales pipeline. So this is absolutely brilliant. It does what it says on the tin. It helps you manage your opportunities and keep on top of your pipeline. And there's three ways of looking at this pipeline. Here we are in the columns 
um, space so we can have bespoke milestones so the system can really support your business and how you work and we can literally drag these individual opportunities along um, and into the right milestone so this is our journey if you like uh, moving uh, opportunities along the milestone over to the right hand side and then hopefully into the one bucket which you can see at the bottom sadly sometimes we do lose opportunities and so that goes to the lost bucket but we can capture the reasons that we lose opportunities so that we can change the thing the way that we do things to make things more efficient so we also get the projected value at the top that's based on the opportunity value multiplied by the probability that each milestone has and we can bespoke all of that we can make all of that our own and then that's versus um the versus the total value we have three different ways of looking at the pipeline we're in the column one at the moment as i said then we have a list so we can change this so, so that we can see the columns that we want to um, and we can export this uh, we can add tags because not only do we get to have tags in the data bank the people and organizations but we can have tags on the sales pipeline area and we can also have tags on the next area which is projects but we're just going to stick in sales pipeline for a little bit longer so here we can really drill down um into our pipeline we might want to only see um, opportunities that were added on a certain date or that close, we're expected to close on a certain date. Uh, we might, might want to drill down into the source of an opportunity, for example. So we can add custom fields into this area we, as we can add custom fields into people and organizations and as we can add custom fields into projects as well. So this is a really good area, really brilliant. And then we come on to the little speedometer sign, the dashboard view of the pipeline. Love this area. Absolutely brilliant. We have this fabulous graph on the left hand side, which we can um, change the dates. We can really drill down and see where we've got a bit of a gap. And you can see on this video, we've got a bit of a gap for the April 23 onwards. So um, if this was really my system, I would know that I'd need to ramp up marketing because I might know that perhaps it takes a couple of months to do some marketing to actually convert that into sales. So I'd want to start marketing in February to make sure that I had some um, some sales coming in April onwards. So it's a really good top level view and then on the right hand side we've got the pipeline by milestone so these milestones are all bespokeable and here we have the green bars that give us a count of how many opportunities there are in each of those milestones and then we scroll down a little bit we've got conversion rates absolutely brilliant to see what's going on in our business and on the left hand side we can look at pipeline by tag so we can create all these as i said so you might be interested in how many opportunities there are that are tagged as service a and how many that are tagged as service b so we can drill down into those and we can get a list of those opportunities so a brilliant area next area i want to give you an overview of is projects so in the sales pipeline we are looking at uh, potential clients turning into actual clients and in projects we can actually look after those actual clients we can manage what we deliver to them we can look after the client relationship we can also manage internal projects if we want to so we have two different views of projects here we are in the project board um, and we are looking at the different stages so each of these tiles here is a different piece of work so we've got citrus lemon who are receiving service a they are at the kickoff meeting stage next they would move over to the design version stage then to the final version stage then to deliver to client follow up after delivery all the way along to ask for recommendation and follow up three months after delivery so you can see we can put our entire customer journey into this area and at a glance we can see that we've got an expected close date visible we've got the number of tasks here is four any attachments any activities going on and who the um, contact is on that project as well and we can bespoke all of this area we can create all of this in capture to support our own business model we also get to um, use this area to drill down into different uh, services that we're offering different projects so we might have we might want to drill down and just see how many of those projects are for service a for example and we can do that by drilling down on the tags and then we have uh, the ability to see all of those projects as a list and same with the data bank area and the pipeline area we can drill down by the filters and we might have our own custom fields there that we could 
um, drill down into. Again, all of these things can be bespoke um, to really support your business. Then we have an area which is reports. So that gives us some really nice reports on the system. But don't forget, we can create our own reports as well by using these filters. And then um, we have the search box here so we can have a look and see um, you know, what we've been working on most recently. And we can search on anything, emails that are uploaded, um, notes that are added, tasks, etc. So it's a brilliant area. And then on the right hand side, this is the behind the scenes stuff where you can actually start creating your own tags and your own custom fields. So I hope that has given you a good overview of Capture. It's an absolutely brilliant system. It integrates so well with other systems as well, such as Outlook, Gmail, Zero, Free Agent, different accounts packages. So when you've got Capture when, and it's integrated with these other systems, you've really got all of the foundations that you need to grow your business. So I help set clients up on Capsule. I help clients sort themselves out on Capsule if they've got the, their own Capsule, but they've got in a bit of a muddle. So do contact me if you'd like any help and do check out my other videos as well. I've got a series of videos giving little um, overviews of the different areas, but also some longer videos there to help you set up your own system if you'd like to. Thank you for watching.